the screwball. We're down. Um, another problem. Oh, hello. Hi, Cyberland. My name's Marlon. The channel's Old Fart Hacks, and what we're looking at right now is a problem with this. We've got entirely too much resistance, and the resistance is not, as you know, if you've watched my other videos in the slide here, it's um, literally, I mean, because if I loosen up this nut ever so slightly, then this free turns freely. So the question is, what's going on here? Why is this binding? It's not the ring. The ring's fine. So I'm going to have to tear into this, and it's either the shaft is bent, but this is the same problem on both the top and bottom. Either the shaft is bent, the shaft is out of alignment. Something's going on here. So I'm going to rip this down, and we'll go from there. So I'll be back as soon as I rip the thing down a little bit. Hang on. Okay, let's see. So as you can see, without the... Uh, element on this side, it's moving pretty smoothly. And if I give it a pseudo element from the other side, it also moves reasonably smoothly. So, although that's stiffer that way. Anyway, I suspect that the problem is not a bind up in the screw to the nut in here. So I'm going to continue ripping this down. I'm going to put it together with just the back, the shaft, the back bearings, um, this plate, the front bearing, and then the stack up. I'll be back in just a few seconds. So anyway, here are the parts that make up the system. We have a roller thrust bearing here. The shaft, which I'm not sure that the problem isn't right here, because that seems to be more of a tapered instead of a flat edge. But anyway, this sits on there like this. Then we have this ring. This is the one that mounts to the head. So that is that section. Then we have, of course, a key. which is a key element. Bad joke. And let's leave this ring off. I do like that magnet. The magnet's working out well. But anyway, we have another roller bearing here. Okay. Now that's assembled. And as you can see, there is a gap right here. So this ring is now running between the this bearing over here which is trapped by the shaft here, and this one over here, which this is part of the shaft now because of the key. Give me a couple of seconds to uh, put this together. I'm just bringing it to me because it's faster over here. Okay, and yeah, this is binding somehow. And it's not binding here because there is a visible gap underneath that, I do believe. Okay, anyway, guys, the next, I'm going to pretty much terminate this video here because I want to get some things, I want to get some washers, I want to do some stacking up of things and determine if it's a stack up issue where this bottom surface here is rubbing here. Because again, if I loosen this up ever so slightly, then that turns freely. So it's just, 
but the problem on both ends is here. And it may be something as simple as just putting another washer underneath somewhere in the system to give just a little more gap. So, for now, I hope you all do well. And remember, it's all good till you get caught, so don't get caught. Bye. So anyway, let's look and see where we've got some run out in this thing. Of course, it moved on me because I bumped things. Let's see what the run out ends up being, shall we? This is the shaft, as you can see, the raw shaft. By the way, it looks like these threads were rolled into the shaft, so take that for what it may be. But anyway, we've got about mm, roughly three thousandths run out in the shaft. That's probably not our binding issue. Now let me go set up somewhere else. Well, out of heck with it. I'll just do this live and then cut the heck out of the thing when I'm done. So on the ring here. Okay. So let's see what the run out is on the ring. One heck of a lot more. Let's get a real reading on this. Uh, five. About seven and a half thousandths. Now, what happens if we turn the ring relative to the shaft? It doesn't seem to change much relative to the shaft. Okay, next place. I'm oh, sorry, should have moved. Remember to move the right thing, Marlon. <laughs> yeah, the right thing. Okay, and down here, this is showing about the same run out as the shaft. So it's not like anything's hugely twisted. Yeah, it may just be a stack-up issue. So we'll be back when we know that one for sure. <laughs>